Um, if, yeah, like I got 1100 square foot. What do I, uh, uh, I definitely need to put a fiber in the texture, but I didn't ask him about the acrylic. For the acrylic, there's a, there's a sheet with those I, I couldn't find numbers on there. I remember. Hey, Dan. Hey, Dan. As far as square footage, how, uh, how much stone tough? Do you have that ratio? Yeah, two and a half quarts. Just figure uh, two quarts, just for easy calculation. There are how many two quarts in a five gallon bucket? <laughs> One, two, four quarts in a gallon. Four quarts in a gallon. Yeah, it would be 10. 30. 30 divides by two. You can do 15 buckets with a bucket of stone top. 15 by five emissions? Of any kind. Jack, five. 15 buckets with one five gallon bucket. Awesome. awesome. All right, I'll do that. Thank you. I already figured it diluted. Okay, so I think that's one. No, so that's diluted. Yeah. One bucket. Oh, there we go. Is a fig I figured it out, diluted. Okay, so. But as you sell a bucket, it's not. Diluted. Hey, Marcos, is this sticking up high or is this just me? Huh? I know it's not fire. So Make it. That's what that was. Okay, so we just kick this out. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Go to have that one. Yeah. Without a trial, nothing like that. No, that's good. No faster. No faster. And that's the end of it. If I use them, so just put my hard board on there. Speakers built in there. That's a pretty darn looking, uh, nice spa surround, if I don't say so myself. <laughs> So what he's doing now is just go ahead and grouting with our cementaceous paint. That's what it is. It's hydro seal mixed with the stone tough resin. You take a paint in there, it's going to look like paint. This is going to look like grout because it is. Can you color that product? Of course you can. Who wants different color grout, David? I like gray. No, no, he's right. Customers will want a different, uh, all kinds of colors. Yes. Now. See what he's got there? Usually just, a rag. Yeah, exactly. Rag. Don't worry about it. No big deal. I'm just letting you know. We used to have a nice clean cloth with a bucket of water. Why? And you're going to inevitably drip on there or do something. Although I've never had seen a clean well, mason. I've never seen a wall where they didn't splatter over a little bit. Too. Well, no. But we're, we're master masonry contractors. And yeah, what do I got to do to graduate this class? And get master. You didn't get one? No. All right, you ready? OK. In a lot of the panels that we have, we started out with these that are that are four by eights. We did some of those today with the river rock. So a lot of our panels are available in the four by eight. Newly, we have the three by fives and the two by fives, rectangular, non-interlocking. Depending on the height length that you're trying to achieve for your installation, there are a variety of panels that you may choose to use. We also have these available in the interlocking. I think there's a 2x5 right there in the limestone and over there is the 3x5. So all of our panels are like that in the corners, the inside and the outside corners, that sort of stuff. Um, we have a variety of product lines. Now on the, on the sheet that you were giving, that purchase order sheet, currently we have just brought out some new stuff into production and there's not on that list. That needs, list needs to be updated. The website is pretty much ongoing is pretty much kept up to date within a month usually so our goal here is to keep adding to the library of products in order to better serve you and your needs and diversity of raw kinds and innovation in the way that they are installed we're not done yet by any means we're just beginning in that respect but we we want to be able to you place an order we want to be able to have that order on a pallet and on a truck within a week I've always said in a worst case scenario, as orders come in in, in droves, you know, in cycles, the worst thing you'd ever see being a, a customer would be a 30 day wait. And we don't want you to ever hear that. But again, don't be the contractor or the person that waits the last minute and inspect it next day. It's going to be difficult. Right now we're at about a week. So if you're in Florida, Josh, you're going to be a week for shipping. So that's a two week turnaround time. Stone panels and RP panels, just as a, just as a, it's got to relocate over here for this slide, 
This is a interfab slide unit that we have that you can actually buy. And it's uh, two sides. The slide goes in here. This is the outside, so it's a longer. This is the inside. This is prefab. It's ready to go, ready to install. This again was just made by our panels, just like you made some of those rocks. Cut mud, cut mud. Now, look and feel over here. What do you what do you think is different about this? Do you f come over here and feel this one? This one's been splattered. You can touch it. Yeah. This is kind of the texture I like. Now, does it diminish the the uh, the definition? Of course, a little, but not not so as you wouldn't be able to sell it or you wouldn't like it. That's an aquarium that was made with the RP56. Remember that, David, when I showed you that rough one? Yep. That's the style of that. And as we go over to the RP side, we'll be able to see more of the variety of panels. But nevertheless, there, there are those type of stone panels. And then over here, we start with the RP panels. Oh, some of you were asking about the cap. There it is right there. See that cap for the column? There's the RP55. These are varieties of some of the 50s. This is the gnarly, what is it, Skyra, 56? I think so, yeah. It's anyway, looking rock. Aggravated. Very much so, but here, here's the funny thing. Look, I don't think this is the one, but this started, here it is. It's like a lower clip. See this right here? That starts that panel right up there. This is upside down. This is the bottom, and this was up right up underneath this, right here. This is upside down, too. These were one bank, one cliff. And you're saying, well, Jim, that don't match this. Hey, I, I'm not God. I, you, know, you talk to God about that, because this is, this is nature. Now, I wouldn't necessarily put this panel in amongst my trade show booth, but it came from the same bank, but I don't think it would look good together. It didn't in nature. I didn't much, I didn't much like this. But <laughs> nevertheless, as you go through here, You'll see a variety of the RPs. Now, this is unfortunate. This is a newer panel. I think it's the 59 or 60, which has a lot of life to it, which I like. And uh, this is the smoothest. We can actually mold this even. This has some undulation. You guys remember my uh, trade show booth, the table. This is what I made it from. It has undulation. I like it. Now, we can actually make this very, very flat for you by taking the skin and just putting it on the table and casting it so it's ultra flat. Um, as you see, we've got, like at Skyler's, Skyler's house, remember that little bench seat that was in that one rock? So there's a lot of varieties of undulating shapes, high relief, low relief, medium relief. This is a good shot of the RP55. This one's gnarly, but it's, it's getting nearer this. This is my favorite panel in the world. Me producing some more of these type, which have extreme aggravation, but have the smoother faces in amongst the aggravation. What's the number of that one? 55. We got that at the shop. Yeah. And that's part of your panel inside, or your? That's part of my, my work, yeah. Yeah. He made almost that whole thing out of 55, didn't he? Yeah. Or a couple of them. Yeah. All right, what we're going to do right now is, um, during the class we mudded this, and uh, it turned out to be a bit of a straight line, so we're just going to pretty much show you how we're going to avoid doing a straight line if you get one. Um, what we're going to end up doing is just breaking it by uh, joining a couple of these rocks together. This one right here, actually, if you can zoom in on this area real quick. Um, what we did is we're going to cut a, a grout line right here, turn this into an individual rock, cut a grout line right here, turn this into an individual rock, and then mud the difference between here. And then we're going to have a nice break in that line. So that's what we're doing right now.